Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And this morning I'm going to fix some spaghetti. But I've got a couple tips for you. First, um, I got this off of QVC last week. You got two of them for $21. And it's a knife sharpener and a honer. And i got to show you how this works. This is my... Um, um, well, what? I can't even think of the name of it now. My Zwilling knife that I got from Son William Sonoma. And you take this little thing and you push this down. Well, let me get it on the table here. Well, there it goes. And look, it, it will not move. And then you take your knife and you've got a one. I don't know if y'all can see that. I think you can. A one and a two. A one is for sharpening it. Two is for honing it. And you start at the end and you run your knife through. Let's say we'll do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to take it and we're going to go to number two, which is the honing. And you go one, two, three, four, five. And then you take your paper towel and you wipe it off because there's little, and I know y'all can't see it. Oh, let me see. Let me see if I can zoom in. No, I don't think you can. But right here, there's little pieces of the metal of the knife. And see how it looks, see how it looks like it's just come from the factory or whatever. And this is the coolest little, um, little knife sharpener that I've seen. It really is. I really like it. So this is one tip for you. All right, let me zoom back out. All right, and I'll put this away. All right, the next thing that I do is, if I catch peppers on sale, um, I buy a lot of them. And I wash them and get the seeds all out of them. And I cut them into dices like this. And I freeze them just like this. I just usually the air, get all the air out and put them in the freezer. But I've opened this bag so there's air in here. Get all the air out and put them in the freezer. And they'll keep just like this for months. So I'm going to use half of this bag and the spaghetti because um, the other half I'm going to use and I'm fixing some chili beans um, tomorrow. But let me get everything together and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, this recipe is a basic recipe for new cooks. Um, it's just, a, it's not a fancy way of doing spaghetti. It's just a quick way, and um, it's using canned stuff. And But here I've got one medium onion. I'm going to put that in with the ground chuck. Like I said, I've got one and a half pounds of ground chuck, one medium onion, I get a bag of onions, so this was one of the bigger onions in there. And then I'm going to use half of this bag of the peppers. I love peppers in my in my spaghetti. I use more onions and peppers than anything, so if you're a new cook and you're just learning all the things that you need to keep stocked in your pantry. This is definitely one of them. Onions and peppers. So, um, I'm going to let this cook now. And it's going to saute. And when it gets finished, if it's got a lot, this is ground chuck, so I don't, hopefully it won't have a lot of grease in here. But if it does, I'll drain the grease out and I'll bring you back when I get to the next step. So now I'm just sautéing the onions and the peppers along with the with the uh, ground chuck browning it. Okay, I'm back. All right, now while the um, ground beef, ground chuck, and the onions and the peppers are finished finishing cooking, I'm going to go on and put the sauce products in here. 
I know you can go out and you can buy those big expensive cans of spaghetti sauce if you want to. Or you can get the cheapo kind, the cheapo cans, and doctor them up. And that's what I like to do because I'm, I have my stomach stapled in 98 and I still have a bad problem eating spaghetti. I love it, but I have a bad problem with it. So catching in my stomach. So I have to eat more of the sauce than the spaghetti. And what I do is I just have the cheapo cans. This is Vine Mipe spaghetti sauce. I have the cheapo cans of spaghetti sauce. And I've got two little cans. And then I've got the Hunt's pasta sauce. Traditional. I think this is 99 cents. And these others are like 69 cents. <laughs> and, and some of those jars of spaghetti sauce are four dollars. And I mean, I just had soon make it myself. So I'm putting in another can of the 99 cent. I mean, the the cheapo can, really cheapo can of spaghetti sauce. And then I have the, I can't see it, but it's the McCormick's Italian Seasoning. And in this is everything you need for your spaghetti sauce. It's got marjoram, thyme, rosemary, savory, sage, oregano, and basil. So I put a couple teaspoons of this in here. And I try to get them as level as I can. So there's one, one teaspoon. Maybe I'll do a half a teaspoon in this. And a half a teaspoon. I did one and a half. And then I've got a, a can of great value pieces and stems mushrooms. I like them just as good as making my own. And, and like this is the quick and an easy way to do this and this is definitely good for new cooks that want to fix spaghetti and don't know how yet to get into the making your spaghetti sauce from scratch and I really lately have really liked making easy things so I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of salt, kosher salt, because I didn't put any um, salt in the ground chuck at all, so there's no salt. And then I'm going to put in one teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper. All right, and let me stir this up. Probably should have put in two cans of mushrooms. Not very many mushrooms in here. I might add another can. Alright, now I'm going to go on and put this ground beef in here. Let me cut this off. And there is a little bit of grease, but not very much. And a little bit of grease in your pan does give some flavor. But you can see it's not very much at all. So I've got all of this in here. And now I'm going to let this sit in here. And all these, this Italian seasonings and everything come together. I'm going to let it um, simmer on my new wave for probably 30 minutes. And just let all of this come together and and. The spices come out, and this, I, I wish y'all could see, look, it looks so good, and it smells so good. Mm. All right, so I'm going to put this on my new wave now, and cut it on on medium, and just let it sit, and cook for about 30 minutes, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, the spaghetti sauce is ready, 
and now I'm getting ready to fix the actual spaghetti and I've got the water in here I've got it on my new wave on sear bringing it up to a boil because the only time you get to salt your actually get the salt into your spaghetti is when you're cooking it I'm going to put in one heaping tablespoon of kosher salt into this water because I don't want my spaghetti noodles to be bland and what I do is I've got my spaghetti box here and I get out about half of it at a time and this is a one pound box and I always usually fix a one pound box so I'll have enough for the kids or whoever might be here and I take my spaghetti and I break it in half and then I put it in the water I've always done that I don't know why I guess because I don't have a pan big enough for the um, spaghetti to go into all at one time and I used to put oil in here but I read where if you put oil on there it doesn't get on the spaghetti like it's supposed to so um, I mean the spaghetti sauce doesn't get on the noodles like it's supposed to so I've got one the one pound of spaghetti noodles in here and you always want to stir this so it doesn't stick together while it's cooking and the box you always um, read the directions on your box on how long to cook it for and I'll bring you back when this gets done and we're going to eat some spaghetti okay I'm back my spaghetti is ready I'm so excited I haven't had spaghetti in a while and I wanted to show y'all what a quick and easy thing that it is to make. Mm. And I've never known how to eat my pasta <laughs> swirling it on a fork either. So I am just got to cut, I cut it up. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-mm. Some people put a little bit of sugar in their spaghetti I don't I think it's sweet enough with all the peppers and the onions and you're um, sauteing them and bringing out the sweetness in them oh this is so good so good you have got to give this if you're a new cook and you don't know how to fix spaghetti then try it this way and I've got my French bread right here and I have a salad, but I really don't, and made in the refrigerator, but I really don't want any salad with this. I just want the spaghetti. So, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and below there'll be links for different, different things. Um, my Facebook, my Twitter, my, um, your Zacon Farm Fresh Foods, where you can go and sign up to see um if zacon is in your area and how much it costs to get bulk um farm fresh meats it's i think it's such so reasonable and so you need to check on that and also there'll be a link below where you can get the new wave and just different things and i hope you have a good day and i'll talk to you later bye